This problem says, find the center and radius of the circle with the equation x squared plus 6x plus y squared plus 8y is equal to 0. So we can't find the center and radius just yet because we need to get the equation into this form. So we need to get into x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared form to get the center and the radius. So how can we put this equation into that form? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate this x squared plus 6x. So what you need to do is you need to add a special number here. And once we add the special number, we can factor it into some x plus something squared. So how do I find what number this is that I can add to turn it into something that's factorable? What you need to do is a process called completing the square. To complete the square, it's a very simple two-step process. You take your number on the x term, or when we're dealing with the y terms, we're just going to do the y term only. So you take your x term, and then you take the coefficient on it, that's the 6 here, and you divide it by 2. So first, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then, with that number you get, you have to square it afterwards. So 3 squared is equal to 9. And this is a number you can add to turn it into something that's factorable. So by completing the square, I know that we need to add 9. But notice how we just changed the one side of the equation. I've added 9 to this side of the equation here. I have to add 9 to this side of the equation to be consistent as well. So I'm just going to add a 0, and then I'm going to write plus 9, because we need to add a 9 to that side. But let's go back to this part. We need to factor x squared plus 6x plus 9. To factor this, this just turn into x plus 3 squared. And a quick trick for getting what uh, this number is going to be is you take this number and divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. That's the number you put in there. So now I have that when we factor the x terms, we get x plus 3 squared. And that's an x minus h squared form. So we're good with the x terms. Let's move on to the y terms. So now I have y squared plus 8y. I need to add a special number to this side or over here that will allow me to factor this. So what number do I add? Let's complete the square. First, you do 8 divided by 2 because you take the term, the take, you take the y term and you divide by 2 or the coefficient. And 8 divided by 2 is just 4. And then you do 4 squared because you have to square the number right afterwards. 4 squared is just 16. So I'm going to add 16 here. And now I can factor this. But before I do that, remember, since I added 16 to the left side, I need to add 16 to the right side as well. So plus 16 over here. But now let's factor y squared plus 8y plus 16. To do that, this simply factor as y plus 4 squared. And once again, the quick trick is you take this middle number and you divide it by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. That's the number that goes inside there. So now let me write that down. So we have x plus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to, we have 0 plus 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 plus 0 is just 25. And now we're good to go because this is in x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared form. We're done. So now all we need to do is just get the center and the radius. So this is quite simple. For the center, remember, you just take the numbers inside the parentheses and flip them. So you have plus 3 and plus 4. That becomes minus 3, minus 4 as your center. And then for the radius, remember, this thing is equal to r squared. So just take the square root of that number. So take the square root of 25, and that's just equal to 5. So 5 is the radius of the circle, and the center is minus 3, comma, minus 4. 